Well, Mazda has come a long way from producing small cars. You see, the company is well known for making the Mazda MX-5 Miata one of the smallest new cars that you can get nowadays because now, what we have here beside my Scarlett is the largest production Mazda available in the Philippines. This, my friends, is the Mazda CX-90 all-wheel drive HEV Turbo and in this video, we get to check it out. Let's do this. While small cars have their novelty and purpose, we cannot deny the fact that larger cars are truly more practical. Especially here in the Philippines where having a large extended family is considered normal. With this practicality in mind, Mazda Philippines has brought in the 8-seater Mazda CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo which has more seats than the range-topping CX-90 exclusive. Priced at 3,680,000 Philippine pesos, the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo offers a slightly more affordable alternative to the CX-90 exclusive. So it begs the question, what's the difference between this CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo and the exclusive trim aside from the extra seat? Well, let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Now since we have two variants of the CX-90 here in the Philippines, this uh, all-wheel drive turbo and the top spec exclusive trim, uh, you'll probably wonder uh, if there are some changes or difference here in the front fascia. Well, there is nothing that separates this uh, all-wheel drive turbo versus the exclusive trim when it comes to the front mug because we get the same yeah, squared out and muscular uh, silhouette there. Uh, plus, we have the same design for the front grille. Uh, yeah, we get the same piano black finish here, glossy piano black finish there. We have uh, the holographic Mazda logo there that also houses your radar sensors. And we also have uh, the functional air vents here on the front bumpers for better aerodynamics. Now, the, yeah, the fully adaptive LED headlight units here are also in the same shape. And we also have the same LED DRLs that connect the headlights to the front grille. So yeah, it's literally identical uh, to the CX-90 exclusive trim. Now here on the side, we do get a couple of changes here versus the top spec uh, CX-90 all-wheel drive exclusive. Now these changes aren't necessarily cuts, but rather more like aesthetic design changes in order to separate the two variants. Now we start off with a front fender garnish. We have a matte black fender garnish there that says inline 6 uh, versus the chrome inline 6 fender garnish of the all-wheel drive exclusive. And we also have uh, black plastic claddings on the fenders here versus the body color ones found in the higher trim all-wheel drive exclusive. Now the tires are the same size. These are 21-inch alloy wheels, although you'll notice that the, the all-wheel drive turbo it gets a gunmetal finish here versus the two-tone diamond cut finish found in the exclusive trim. Now behind these wheels, we have the same premium mechanical bits. We have four-wheel ventilated disc brakes. And for the suspension, it rides on double wishbones up front and multi-links at the back. Now, since we have the same suspension setup here in the same size tires, that means that the ground clearance of the all-wheel drive turbo, the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo, is also at 203 millimeters, which is similar uh, to the ground clearance of the all-wheel drive exclusive. Now, the same goes for the engine. You see, we have the same engine here that's found in the CX-90 all-wheel drive exclusive, as well as the gasoline-fed CX-60. See, this is a 3.3 liter turbocharged inline six gasoline motor that pumps out 280 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. Now the power is sent to all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic transmission. 
Now, I'm really quite excited to try out this new Mazda engine because I haven't even borrowed the CX-60 at the time when I filmed this unboxing video. So I really hope to get a chance to borrow either the CX-60 gasoline trim or this CX-90 in order to give you guys a proper driving review video. Ah, aircon, very good. All right. So the interior is where most of the difference happens between this CX-90 uh, all-wheel drive turbo versus the exclusive trim. You see, we get a more business black cabin here from the black Napa leather seats to the black Napa steering wheel. Now the functionalities of these uh, seats and the steering wheel are the same as the exclusive trim though uh, since we get power adjustments for both driver and front passenger and we also have seat ventilation here. Now the steering wheel can also be adjusted electronically yes you can see um, yeah although I do notice that we have a pair of paddle shifters here uh, I don't think I saw that in the exclusive trim I may be mistaken but yeah um, I, we have paddle shifters here in this uh, all-wheel drive turbo. Now, we also have a 12.3-inch fully digital gauge cluster there as well as a 10-inch heads-up display. And we also have a 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now, this touchscreen infotainment system comes with wireless Apple CarPlay. It has wired Android Auto. And we also have uh, the image of a 360-degree view camera. Now we also have uh, a 12-speaker Bose uh, setup here and uh, we also have a wireless charge pad as well as a dual zone climate controls uh, here up front. Now the safety bits of the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo is the same as the exclusive trim as you're seeing on your screen. We also have iActive Sense here, so yep, um, there, no cuts were made when it comes to the safety features. So essentially, yeah, this CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo only gets a more business-like cabin, which is a good choice for people who are afraid of maintaining a tan interior. Uh, yeah, and they just want something that's really more, well, really easier to maintain. <laughs> now, the second row of the CX-90 Turbo uh, gets a bench-type seat here versus the captain seats that can be found in the exclusive trim. So that makes this variant uh, a little bit more practical in a way uh, versus uh, the exclusive uh, CX-90. However, we do have a center armrest here with a pair of cup holders in case you want to have that captain's seats experience as well. And we also have uh, pretty much the same amenities here. See, we have uh, the third climate control uh, zone here. We have AC controls here in the center. We have a pair of USB-C charge ports there as well as window shades here for your privacy. And we also have a large panoramic sunroof. Uh, up there up top and now uh, this uh, second row seats also have a nifty feature uh, which includes a uh, one touch in order to access the third row although you will have to push it forward in order to get in so now that we have this deployed let's check out the third row seats now the third row seats of the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo further enhances the practicality of this variant versus the exclusive trim why do I say that? You see, we get, uh, well, third row seats here. But if you check out the seat belt configuration, uh, the third row of the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo can actually sit three people. Now, granted, if you put three people here, it's going to be a little bit tight. It's going to sit like uh, there are a can of sardines. But because we have three seat belts, that, my friends, means it's perfectly doable. Now, the exclusive trim only has uh, uh, two sets of seat belts here in the third row, so it's only for two passengers. But if you want to preserve the sanity of the people who's going to ride here in the third row, please, please, just also limit it to two passengers and everybody will be happy.
<laughs> I'm not kidding. Because you put three here, it's going to be really, really tight. Now, anyway, uh, in terms of uh, overall space, at five foot six, this is pretty spacious, guys. I got a good amount of knee room and leg room here, good amount of headroom as well. And it's mighty comfortable here, the third row seats, because we have complete amenities. You see, we have a USB type C charge port on both sides. We have two cup holders on both sides, bring it up to four. And we also have uh, AC vents found here. So yes, air condition is coming out. So the people here at the third row seats won't feel too sorry for themselves as long as there are only one or two people here. Because if you do try to squeeze a third one in the middle, I can guarantee you that that third one in the middle is going to hate you because you just tortured him or her. <laughs> now the rear end of the CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo is identical to the exclusive trim. Uh, that means that we get the same sleek LED taillight units here and we also don't have that faux dual exhaust pipes that can be found in the smaller CX-60. Now that gives the CX-90 a much cleaner look here and we also have the smart power liftgate uh, that can be found in the all-wheel drive exclusive. Now I love that smart power liftgate because all it takes is one kick and this baby right here pops open just like that. I mean it is so intuitive, I mean it's so cool that it does that. Anyway, now that we have this open, you'll see that we have the exact same cargo space here. Uh, that translates to 40 cubic feet uh, with the third row seats folded. And uh, that means that you can fit around three uh, to four large sky travel luggage here. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my sky travel luggage because as you remember from the start of the video, yeah, I brought my Mazda MX-5 Miata, my Scarlet, to this uh, review location. So yeah. My Miata couldn't fit a luggage, so we don't have that. Anyway, when you deploy the third row seats, you'll see that we still have enough space for a medium-sized Sky Travel luggage here. It's still pretty decent. And beneath the floorboard, you also get a donut spare tire in case you suffer a flat. See, it's so cool. Just takes one kick. So awesome. At the end of the day, this CX-90 all-wheel drive turbo would appeal more to the practical bunch out there versus the more luxury-oriented CX-90 exclusive. The 8 seats plus the all-black interior means that this CX-90 turbo is truly meant as a premium people hauler. And since I'm running out of ideas on how to close this video, let me ask you this. Which CX-90 variant will you go for and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!